Joe Bro. Oh. He says, uh, <laughs> this is about to be a long show. Y'all ain't even got to the Luda and T.I. versus yet. You it's already what? been too long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. You want to get into this versus? We might as well. All right. I need to the list. Will you send me your list right quick so I can oh, see you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Let me go ahead and send this list to Coop, and we're going to get into it, man. Basically, what happened was, you know, we... Um, hold on, hold on, Mike, and I just want to say this right quick. Like, mm-hmm. you understand that by the time that the Beatles started covering, like, Motown records, they were already, like, the biggest group this world had ever seen. Oh, definitely. Like, like off their white boy records, they were the biggest group this world had ever seen. And Incredibly talented did, group. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike, Mike, Mike. Then they did Motown covers. Yeah. Then they did Motown covers after being ridiculously like, like Mike, the, the Beatles are more famous than anybody ever, except for maybe Michael Jackson. 88, um, great 88, excuse me, says Anderson Pat is half black and Filipino. Well, there we go. Oh, well, that, that would explain it. Cause, cause, um, and, and I know this from the West coast culture, a lot of Filipinos and I got Filipino homies, you know, it is what it is. All right. Um, Mike, I'm I super sent familiar you the with Filipino culture. They, they are tied to us in a lot of ways. But what I'm trying to say is, is that show me culturally where he's tied to the things that he expressed on that album. I can see where you could take offense to that. And I, I get that. Mike, I don't wear gold chains. I'm from the west side of Charlotte, east side of Atlanta. <laughs> I don't wear gold chains. Shamario Patterson said Bruno Mars did not write fuck you. That was Philip Lawrence. Don't do that. See, I always was told that he did. Sorry. Correction. See, so was I. So Correction. I. I apologize. Sorry about that, Philip Lawrence. Got to give people their props. Anyway, let's get to this uh, mock versus, man. Um, you guys requested it, so we did it. They said that we needed to do a T.I. and Ludacris mock versus. Man, this was difficult for me, man. I ended up pulling the Ludacris card. And Coop got the T.I. card. I feel bad for you looking at this list. Oh, man. I ain't even really looked at your list, man. I just copied and pasted and put it up on the screen for the people. And so we're going to need the people's participation in helping us with some of these. Man, yeah, help. That's all I can say. (laughs) (laughs) We're about to get to it. Because all the pressure was on me, man. The Ludacris fans, I think it was Sophia uh, Esther was like, man, don't do Ludacris wrong. So. can I be honest with you about something, Mike? I was super surprised at our contingency outside of Atlanta that favored Ludacris mm-hmm. over T.I. You might be surprised even more because people in here are saying Luda wins. Luda wins. Right, right. I want you all to understand that you all are, that are saying that. I picked this list specifically so you know who T.I. is and what he's been a part of so much because y'all are so disrespectful right now. But we're going to get to it so that you can get a good idea about how versatile and how many hits and how big this dude really is. Let's go. I'm going to get killed if Luda doesn't win this. All right. Southern Fried (laughs) Intro versus Bring Him Out. Well, Mike, you're not off to a good start. You know what? I I don't like Bring Him Out like that. I think if they did this on a versus stage and Luda did that Southern Fried Intro... I don't know. Uh, you want to go to the people on this? Mike, <clears throat> I know this is a Nas channel, but this is actually T.I.'s coming out party to the masses for those of us outside of Atlanta. Bring Him Out was the record that took him outside of Atlanta. It is the one. Jay-Z hook, and no, he had Swiss on the beat doing the hook. This is the Bring T.I. Out of Atlanta record for all of those who feel like Luda's bigger outside of Atlanta. This was the one. Bring Him Out, Bring Him Out. It's hard to yell when they're barrels in your mouth. Swizzy, boom, 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 boom. Stop that. Stop that. That's what I'm saying. We all got Southern Fried Intro or Bring Them Out. I think, you know, I'm with you. I think Bring Them Out's probably going to win that. And see, people are already getting at me. Oh, Spliff Spark says Southern Fried Intro wins. I like Southern Fried Intro. Like Michael Brown says, Bring Them Out, hands down. You bugging, Mike. No. Uh, The Truist says, Luda takes this. No, I see say, another also, person saying Luda. I don't know. Bring him out the bigger Luda. song. We, I mean, bring him out's way bigger. Let's go do bring him out. No, no, no. About that say, ain't a wash. Do we need to wash that and come back to it? No, no, that's not a wash. Welcome to Atlanta and 24s. Welcome 24. to Atlanta. It's 24s. No, it's not, Mike. 
Oh, come on, man. Let the people decide. They do that in a versus, man. Welcome to Atlanta winning that. No, it's not, Mike. Mike Come on, what, what we got here? Welcome to Mike, Atlanta, Jack and Hamilton. Honestly, Bo's back in the back. Honestly, of the- Mike, you think Welcome to Atlanta is better than 24? It's like, I'm asking you. I think if we're talking about on a stage, straight up, it's I'm the more saying, notable I'm record. Saying, I'm saying, I'm Mike, you know, because personally, I think Southern Fried is better than Bring Him Out, but I get what you're saying. Like, if Bring Him Out, you know what I'm saying, came on, that's no, Mike, the bigger song. Welcome to Atlanta is the bigger song. I think Southern Fry is personally better than Bring Him Out, but 24s is just a better record up and down than Welcome to Atlanta to me, even though, like, how about this? When you're bringing up Southern Fry versus Bring Him Out, you're bringing up an album record versus a hit record. I'm talking hit record versus hit record. Uh, now, welcome, welcome to Atlanta. Atlanta's getting a lot, but it looks like, like 24s. The bigger hit record. Welcome to Atlanta's the bigger hit record, but 24s is the better record. 24s is winning. I know, because it's a better record, Mike. That's what I'm saying. Welcome to Atlanta is bigger, but between these two singles, 24s is the better song. Okay. Money, hoes, cars, and clothes. That's how all my niggas roll. Man, Ned well, says you got a bad list for Ludacris. What, what did I and, miss? No, right. no, no, Mike. You're not missing nothing. People have been missing Ludacris and putting Luda ahead of T.I. And we're about to stop that. All right, it's, next song. Mike I'm, willing, Mike, I'm willing to watch the first one, but I'm, I'm more strong about 24s than I am bring them out, truthfully. I'm in the drop top Chevy with the roof wide open. See, the problem here is it's and hard I for us to take away the smoke. local bias. I'm down 285, but I'm focused. Stop that, Mike. Come on. I mean, I'm seeing all kind of. It looks like 24s is winning, though. Yeah, 24s is a monster, Mike. We'll put this in the poll, too, because it looks pretty close. All right, next song Saturday and Shoulder Lean. That's Saturday. Is it? It is, man. <laughs> you might as well let the people side about that, Mike. You got Saturday on the shoulder lean? Oh, yeah. I got sat- organized noise got down on that. Sleepy no, Brown on the Mike, hook. It's not better than shoulder lean. It's not. Oh, come on, man. Let the people decide. Hold what do y'all on, think Mike, in the is, chat? We on, got on, we got where, shoulder lean or we got Saturday by Ludacris. What's that? Where are we at two songs in, Mike? Where are we at realistically two songs in? Where are we? Well, it's two to nothing. Everybody's saying Saturday on this one. They are? Okay, I'm going to give it to them. That's fine. It's two to one. You know what? Somebody um, somebody said something that I addressed earlier. They said they don't see Runaway Love. I couldn't put Runaway Love up against T.I. I couldn't. I couldn't you put Runaway Love that. up against T.I. I couldn't put What's Your Fantasy up against T.I. I couldn't. Now, if, we were go- if I was going up against Nelly or something. You didn't yeah. even put What's Your Fantasy up, Mike. Huh? You didn't put what's your fantasy up? I couldn't. That's a problem, Mike. What is that? What does that beat? What does uh, that beat? All right, roll out versus be easy. Ooh, that's actually close for me. I'm, that that would be the closest thing to a draw that I've seen so far. Be easy and roll out. That that's about a draw. I'm for going me. roll out, man. Roll out's the bigger record. I love be easy though. I'm trying to take my, I'm trying to take my local lens off and look at this as a to, in its totality. No, that's why I'm saying draw because like be easy is probably more popular locally. Roll out more nah. popular nationally. Well, roll out is way more popular. You like so? be okay. easy no, no, wasn't we'll even a big record on that we'll album. We'll go roll out. That's cool. Okay, two two. Everybody in the chat saying roll out. Roll out dominated 2001. Roll out, roll out, roll out. All right. That's Made You Look Remix versus ASAP. I mean, you know how I feel about that verse from Luda. You know how I feel about that record. That's Made You Look. I might go with Made You Look on that. As much as I love ASAP. A-S-A-P. A-S-A-P. A-S. Like, uh, Mike, that whole character of, like, his voice, that actually started with ASAP. When people started like mocking his voice, that's where it started. A set, A set. Nigga, try to play me. I'm a blow. Oh, A dope. Like, I know a lot of rappers A-S-A-P. don't like me. Bet they won't fight me. Fans say I swear, boy, that's why they won't die. Yeah, I love that, but it ain't made you look. It's not. And it's not Luda's verse on there. We got more shit out on the street than evicted tenants. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Diamond in the back or fancy? That's Diamond in the back. 
That's fancy. No, it's not. No, 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 no. I'm not giving you that one, Coop. No, I'm not even a drink fan. I'm a tea guy. You tripping? No, 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 no. No, I want to go to the people on this. Yeah, we are because because Diamond in the back's not better than fans. No, no. Which one y'all got? Ludacris, Diamond in the back, a Ti fan. Mike, Mike, aren't you a breath of fresh air with all these superficial gold digging bitches in here? I feel they think you, man. Ball like, nah. Man, that's some of tip best shit. Stop. Nah, that, that DJ Paul and Juicy J on the beat, diamond in the back. Nah, that shit Ooh, was crazy. Cool. That's cool, but it's not better than Fancy, Mike. I'm telling you, Fancy's a. M Land says diamond. JC eighty eight diamond easy. <laughs> uh, I see Fancy Fancy diamond 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 in the back diamond in the back. Um, I think just hating on Drake. That fancy shit is all. Fancy is one of Drake's best songs. This is looking back and forth. Fancy, Diamond, Fancy. Uh, crazy, but Diamond might have this. Diamond, Diamond, Diamond. Diamond in the back's winning. Luda. Yeah. Diamond in the back's winning over yeah. Fancy? Okay. No, no, no. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Stick them up. Featuring UGK. Let's get away. That's let's, let's get, get away. That's let's get away. Let's okay. get away is a very very nice song. It is. That was one of those things that showed his songwriting skills. Mm-hmm. Early. Early. Yeah. Um, and I love stick 'em up. Move, bitch. A motivation. That's move. That's move. So where are we at? It's. It is five, five to three. Luda. Yep. Yeah, it's about to get bad for you, though. Stand up, top back. Oh, I don't know. I like my beat down. Look, down. I want to know what the people have to say because honestly, I mean, stand up. You know, it's not one of my personal favorites, but people uh, love stand up. Just like that. Hell yeah! Hey, DJ, bring that back. Uh, you know, you can go either way. Okay. That's a little what, what do the people have harsh. to say? I want to see what the people have to say. Me too. That could be a draw too. Actually, you know what? No. It wasn't even that. I, I skipped one. It's B.I.B.I. B.I. B.I. remix. Oh, well, that's oh top no. Back. That's B.I.B.I. B.I. That's Top Back. No. Yeah. I know you're going to say this is the Chevrolet thing. Mike, it literally got him an endorsement contract <laughs> with Chevrolet. I knew this was coming. The he made Chevrolet. a song. Southern rapper made a song that got him an endorsement contract with Chevrolet. And you're talking about Bia Bia. Now pour out the hen and coke and fire up that dro. It's ludicrous from Old National and God be road. The block is so clear. Then I shock the globe. I think that's one of his best features, personally. Yeah, it's just not top back. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Everybody's saying stand up and stuff. No, I meant Bia Bia versus um, top back. I think people are still picking top back. They, yeah, because it's better. Top back to easy say. over B.I.B.I. Top back if it's yeah. against B.I.B.I. Okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah. if it's top back against B.I.B.I. Like I hate that because B.I.B.I. Yeah. was hard. Okay, Mike, so now we got stand up versus never scared. Well, I want to be. Mike, you got to lose. So you I want to be I be out of line up with never scared. That's what yeah, I, I want. I, I really want to be I be out of line up with never scared because his verse on B.I.B.I. is better than. Tips verse on never scared. No, that's just no, real. it is. So, so this is funny. So, I want people to understand how real this is that we do this. Me and Mike don't show each other our list, but Bib versus Never Scared was the pair up that you should have. That's what I be wanted. Like, that's I, what I really I, wanted. Never scared, right? Right. You were just when I glanced movie. at yours when I was, you know, what I'm saying putting it over. I was like, well, I hope these two line up because it looked like it was close. Yeah, it was close. No, 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 no. But you're right because I like his verse on Bib more than Tips verse on Never Scared. And if they were lined up, I would give it to you, Mike. But now you got never scared versus stand up. Somebody said no breathe in, breathe out. He didn't even have a verse on there. No. Did so he no. have a verse? Did he rap? No, he didn't. He just had a hook. Breathe in, breathe in. Hey, you know what? I did think about O on the Sierra. I did, but I was like, man, I'm going to stay away from the R&B shit. I have Mike, to. You, you, Mike, you missed the What's Your Fantasy in the O. You did. You needed to put that down. For some of the stuff that I see on here, you should have put that like like... Stick them up, like oh oh should have been there instead of stick them up. I understand that I'm going against Ti, man. Oh no no no, Mike, you were gonna lose. You about to start losing, like from here on out after this. Like keep going. Oh, I didn't God. put O up there, man. Southern styles get wild. Old school's coming down in a different color whip. 
whip, whip, picture perfect. You might want to take a flick, flick, flick. All right, so people got never scared. Yeah, yeah. People got never scared. All right, now we got. Yeah, that was the shit, Mike. You should have played that. Oh my god, that was fire. Uh drunk as crazy. fuck. Uh with uh praying for help. <laughs> Everybody with me drunk as fuck. Roll it down and switch it up. Ah, I'm rolling with that. I never was a big fan of praying for help, but praying for help is probably a better song. Praying for help is a much better song, Mike. Like this is a juxtaposition between like big club banger, like great quality album song. Because I think Praying for Help is one of those things that established himself as kind of like a more diversified artist than the typical Southern rap artist. That's why I put it on here. This was kind of that song where he kind of showed himself to be a little bit more in-depth than your typical Atlanta MC. Uh, P-popping and About the Money. I, I think I'm going with P-popping on that. That's About the Money, Mike. Come on, stop that. Turn it. <laughs> I want to ask the people. Yeah, let's ask the people. Hold on, what happened? Praying for Help in... Um, that was uh, drunk as fuck out and praying for help won that. So it's uh, six five, Ti. Okay. About the money and pee popping, we could maybe draw that, Mike. But I was never big on pee popping. I love about the money. You I like it because of, I, I like it. I like it. What do y'all got? Pee popping or uh, about the money? And you know, people are killing me in here because I didn't do Georgia. I was gonna do Georgia. You didn't do Georgia. I was gonna do money. area code. Hey, Mike, we got to do this over. You are fucking up, Mike. Luda got so many records, man. And the thing is, I'm trying to match up, like, you know, the best matchups. Because I don't think that his performance on Georgia is the standout. It's not. Uh, people are saying P-popping. And it's unanimous, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. We'll take that. Okay. 6-6. Okay. 6-6. Six, six. Six, six. <sighs> we got Blow It Out and My Love. That's Blow It Out. If you're mad I'm on top, then wish me gone. No, 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 that's cool. Um, gossip, <laughs> folks, Missy. Why, why you wanna? You, why you want is better? Huh? I don't know. You know don't tell a nigga no with an ass so fat. Now, why you wanna go and do that? Think about it. A guy named Tip. Taking the Q-tip, why you want to... Come on, Mike, stop that. And it was a summer banger, too, Mike. That shit played all summer. You know it. It was... Mike, I was in Cali, and it was playing in the summer in Cali. I can't imagine what it was like in the A. You better stop. I see. Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out easy. Blow it out. No fatty girl? I thought about it. thought about fatty girl, too. Um, Blow it out over why you want to? Okay, gossip, folks. Gossip, folks. Why you want to? Easy. Why you want to? Uh, why you wanna? Why you wanna gossip? Why you wanna? I, why you wanna win winning that one? Yeah. Yeah. Why you wanna gossip, folks? Why you wanna? It's back and forth, but I think why you wanna got that. Are you sure? Or we need to draw. Gossip, folks, is better. Why you wanna? Why you wanna? It looks like why you wanna is getting more. Okay. Ah, uh, the Jamie Foxx unpredictable. You I don't like know it. me. That's you don't know me. You don't know me. That's a nice little sneaky choice. That would have won if you would have played that different. Like, that would have felt different if you had more of a shot. Yeah. Glamorous. The Fergie joint. And <laughs> nah, uh, Rubber nah, Band, nah. man. I messed up with that one. Rubber Band. Yeah. Yeah. I should have went Area Codes, but I still would have lost. You didn't, you didn't play Area Codes either, Mike? No. Mike, people about to be mad at you. Yeah, I know. Oh, so you didn't play area codes? What's you your fantasy? Play? Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Oh. Yeah. No area codes, no what's your fantasy, because I just didn't think it played well against Tip. It didn't, but you still had to take your shots. You didn't play my chick? No O, not my chick. What else? Okay. Oh, Mike, and you played, oh, yeah, Mike, some of the stuff that you played over this, it's like, yeah, people about to roast you. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you like, Trina, be all right. I think that be all right is better than that. I think be all right is better than that, but whatever you like is about to blow that out the water, even though I personally think be all right is better. Like, if you let the people decide whatever you like is about to win that. People say we already mad, Mike D. Yeah. (laughs) 
believe me, I had all these songs y'all to talk about on the board. The only reason why I didn't, it's hard to really gauge. Air, how about this, Mike? Area codes and O oh, and what's your fantasy you had to play because you've already played. You played Southern Fried Intro. Yeah, Mike Brown said, man, he put the Fergie feature over O. Oh, I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that was, that was that. That. glamorous. How about this? Unpredictable and glamorous over O and area codes is a problem. Yeah, and I should have just said fuck it and did What's Your Fantasy, even though I don't feel like What's Your Fantasy is going to beat Tip Records. I don't feel I saw that I grew, either, grew up, uh, I grew up a screw up. I thought about that too. I don't love that record. Because <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what my rationale was. My rationale was, was like, oh, I'm about to play some famous tip records that have rode. I should have just stayed. went for the hits. But see, I, right. my rationale was, you know, you got the street records, so I'm going to try to get some hard verses out of this. I didn't play for the street records. I, I thought about this ride. bitch that hoe. I thought about uh, Splash Waterfalls. I didn't think this bitch that hoe was that notable uh, for the mass public, even though I think that his um, versatility on there was incredible. Splash Waterfalls, I just didn't think I didn't think Splash Waterfalls aged well. I didn't think that Runaway Love did either. Honestly, when I start thinking about area codes, it was like, I don't know. Moneymaker I had on the list, too. I ended up taking that off. That actually didn't make the cut. I had that on there when it was like Oh, you were right something. to leave Moneymaker off. You're right to leave Moneymaker and Runaway Love off. Area codes, oh, what's your fantasy and my chick bag? Those are your missteps. And here's but the I thing, still man. think T.I. Records would beat that, though. No, and I missed some tip records too. I want you to understand, like, like I don't know if you notice, know "Live Your Life" with Rihanna's not on here. "Swing Your Rags" not on here. "Swagger Like Us" is not on here. I wasn't What's a big like, fan of any of those record? records that you're talking about. Me, me neither. That's why I went for the notoriety. Because y'all been talking like, like Luda's bigger than Tip outside of Atlanta. And I'm like, not with these records. That's the dude that was on my love with Justin Timberlake and Blur Lines. Okay. And Blur, Mike, I left Blurred Lines off and Soldier off. Think about this, Mike. I left a Rihanna record, a Destiny's Child record, and a Robin Thicker record off my TI list. This dude's been everywhere making hits. Uh, I even I even put the uh camera on what mean the world to me remix on there. Yeah, I've seen that. And man. I had that that goes against Ain't I. Ain't I is better. Is it? Ain't I. Ooh, Mike, ain't I, ain't I that banger, Mike? I was. I like I ain't was, I, but what mean the ain't world I, music? Ain't I, like, how about this, Mike? If you want to talk about a nigga being local and it being bigger local than it is nationally, then, then you can knock me that for ain't I. But you know what ain't I is down here, Mike? Ain't I play just the way Shoulder Lean and About the Money and a lot of these. I other don't even think that Ti had the best verse on the ain't I remix. I think that was Dro. And, and even I'm when Luda lie. came on that, what mean the world to me with uh with Bun B, Pimp C, and Trina? Uh, like, hold on, hold on. Ralph Labor and Purple Label, ain't it fresh that I could? No, no, no. Tip got the best verse on ain't I? No. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. make you do yeah, the does. Macarena. No, <laughs> Dro oh, got the best Mike, verse on that Mike, song. Mike, talking about his court cases on ain't I and swagging on. Made it through my situation. Ain't as fresh as it was I can be. Nice that paper trail out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mike. Mike it was a nice swag. verse, but Dro stole the show. But Luda know, came on that. What mean the world? It's like, let me tell you what it mean the world. Luda, Chris, and a couple of girls. They find a brother running up on the girls. I get a drunk chuck and lugging the girls. I think a nigga straight stuck in the girls. I get a late thing. I'm up with the girls. Skeet, skeet, gone. Come on, man. <laughs> he, he, oh, yeah, they, they're no, two no, different. It, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. No, you can have that, but that tip verse is pretty, pretty fire. But Dro, Dro be showing out. Dro's underrated. Yeah, Dro did his thing, man. Um, okay. <sighs> Gucci Mane, Freaky Girl remix, Live in the Sky. Let's live in the sky. Man. That's Live in the Sky. And um, I think on. you're a song short. No, no, no. Either that or I skip something. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, you got 21, Mike. All right, well, I'm taking Blueberry Yum Yum off, and I'm going Southern Hospitality. Obviously. But you still lost. <laughs> Y'all no, think what you know is better than Southern no, Hospitality? No. No, what you know versus Southern Hospitality, I think that is a fair fight. You know how I feel about what you know. 
I feel like I need a redo, man, because um, I made some bad decisions. But see, this is it's very hard to gauge Luda's catalog because none of this stuff to me is like a you definitely need to do this. And I, and I think that the O verse on the Sierra shit is hard. Go ahead. I gotta go let my mom inside. Hold on. No, no, go ahead, dude. Do your thing. Yeah, I think I lost that. What song? What ludicrous song do y'all think I should have played against Ti? I'm so hood verse on Luda. I thought about that too. Um, a redo for sure. But no, give me y'all list. I want to know a redo on Friday. You know what? I'm gonna come with a better list on Friday, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna ask Coop to shake up his list a little bit. And some of these songs that y'all were talking about that I should have picked. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick some of those. I think we did skip motivation or something. Something happened. Yeah, Coop skipped motivation. Okay, we're going to do a redo of this really quick on our Friday show. And I'm going to come together with a better list. And I'm going to put Splash Waterfalls on there. I'll put Runaway Love on there. I'll put some of the ones that y'all were talking about. Should Act the Fool make the 20? The yeah verse. Ah, I didn't like the yeah verse. I didn't like yeah at all. I mean, he played that in his verses with uh, Nelly. Do y'all think Act the Fool should make it? Wasn't a big fan of it. I don't know. Number one spot, I had that on there. I ended up, that didn't make the cut. See, when I'm recognizing with these ludicrous records, man, it's really tough to gauge what actually sounds good right now. Because to be perfectly honest, and maybe my ears is all messed up or whatever, but a lot of that stuff just didn't age well. You know, and I had area codes down here, and I was like, I start rapping the song, fuck, just 404. You know, you thought it was just 770 and 404 and worldwide, bitch. Act like you ain't know. It's the abominable hoe man. And when I got to the abominable hoe man, I was like, let me take this song off. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I think some people are in love with the nostalgic side of things. Yeah, and I think, and I think Ludacris is actually one of those rappers, and this is kind of proving this to us. He takes, I think, he takes people to a time and to a place. Yeah, I think Ludacris' and, catalog is extremely nostalgic, and I, I kind of realized that when I was going down the line of it, and, and I just think that I don't know, man. I think the TI stuff is easier to know what is going to play well right now. Well, a lot of this stuff is just easy. This is what, okay, so just rap wise for me, TI stuff is just held up better because it's more rap related. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's not, it's not um, necessarily for the purpose, like their hit singles. The hit singles are not necessarily just serving the purpose of being hit singles. They fit within the framework of an album very well. Like I love the singles on trap music and I always have because it's very rare that an album of that quality has four singles off of it that fit into the framework of the album so well. Because if you got four singles, they're mm -hmm. all probably different parts of you and pieces of you. And for him to be able to pull something like that off, like 24s, Rubber Band Man, Be Easy, Let's Get Away, you know, let it all fit into the album. It's like those are the things for me as an MC that Tip did that I never saw Luda really do, do with his singles. It's like his singles were just on his album. They never fit into the framework of his album and made it go. Can we do this? Uh, because, you know, me and the people agree. Friday, I want a, a, a quick redo, right? Shake up your list a little bit. I'm going to look at some of the input that the people are giving, and I'm going to come with a whole nother 20. And um, we'll do this again real quick, because I did butcher this list when I'm looking at some of this stuff. I think you might have did a little, a little bit of a disservice and about a lot of pressure. Not willing to uh, kind of rework some of this list, but I'm going to tote some of these records back out because some of these records are like, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Put some of them back. No. Come right. with your best list, period. Because now I got the input of the people, so I'm going to well, see what this really looks like, but let me ask y'all out there. Do y'all see how strong T.I.'s catalog is hold on, hold on, and Mike, do you think some Mike, of the songs that you felt like were left off would beat some of those songs i was about to say mike because you do understand it's like well i didn't play blurred lines i didn't play soldier i didn't play what's up what's happening mike yep somebody just mentioned what's up what's happening in the chat i see jordan house said fat rabbit 
I mean, it's nostalgic, Mike. man. Like, Mike. I remember where I was at when Fat Rabbit dropped, man. We were proud of, of Luda. But Mike, I don't know I how well that Boy plays Fresh. against Tip. Mike, I didn't play Dope Boy Fresh. I didn't play Live Your Life for Rihanna. You didn't play Dope Boys in the Trap either. No, I didn't. No. Big, big I got all this stuff out there. That's what I'm saying. It's like, no, we can do this again. It's like, because here's the thing, too. The people kind of let me know the tip stuff that they don't like. And I'm going to tell you what. What I see, oh, people don't like Urban Legend T.I. based on what y'all just showed me. Y'all don't That's like interesting. Urban Legend. Yeah. Because most of these records that they said no to is around that Urban Legend King time. 